Welcome back everyone, iOS 13.5.1 just came out, you guys like how that just rotated? And we're going to talk about it and how it's, I guess, holding up on the iPhone's success. Guys, it's so bright, oh my god, I gotta turn this ISO down. Okay, much better. Now, 13.5.1, it's a very interesting update for sure. So, it's not a crucial update at all if you update to it or there's really no real reason to update to it. Its main selling point is security updates and, you know, bug fixes and stuff like that. But other than that, there's really no reason to update to it. And there's a huge reason why you probably shouldn't update to it. And that is the uncovered jailbreak. Basically, if you update to 13.5.1, you will lose access to that uncovered jailbreak, which, you know, a lot of people have used. I'm sure I even might even have it on this iPhone. No, I don't. I do have Cydia, but it's currently not jailbroken. The check range jailbreak, however, still works. So if you have a phone like an iPhone 6S or an iPhone 8 or whatever, the check range jailbreak will work on those. But on a phone like an iPhone 11, 11 Pro, or whatever, it will not work on those devices, which kind of sucks. And that's a humongous red flag as to why not to update to iOS 13.5.1 iOS 13.5 is an extremely good update. I think it's really important, but 13.5.1 is just a security update. So you'll get some cleaned out kinks and all those little things that are stuck in iOS and you know, all the bugs and stuff. It's cleaned out those. Other than that, no features are added, nothing like that. I will know very quickly that, like I said, it's very important for you guys to go and update to at least 13.5 and that is still being signed as of right now, me making this video. So if you're on 13.2 or something like that, I recommend going to iTunes and manually updating your phone that way rather than over the air. So kind of keep that in mind. I did run an A2 benchmark though, I think. And I got a score of 170,000, which is pretty good for an iPhone success. My iPhone 7, I was getting about 220,000. And my iPhone 11s are like almost 500, so or they might be over 500. So a pretty decent score for a phone like this. It's still, you know, fast, you know. This wasn't a speed increase update. It didn't get any slower. Battery life is going to stay the same as 13.5. But basically, all this update will bring to a majority of you is the lack of an uncovered jailbreak, which is not good. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.